If you'd like to see how I blinged out this lovely sparkly rhinestone bottle, stay tuned and keep watching. Okay, so for this project, you will need a bottle of liquor or wine bottle of your choice. You'll also need some E6000 glue. You'll need assorted rhinestones and also a bottle of alcohol just so you can wipe off any dust or grease or debris before you apply your stones. I decided to use red rhinestones and iridescent rhinestones for this project. I wanted to coordinate the color of the rhinestones with the bottle. I'm starting off with 5mm rhinestones. These are resin. I'm just going to trace off this area around the area that says Smirnoff and then I'll continue to start at the bottom of the bottle. This little rhinestone pickup tool I purchased off Amazon for about $8. And just take your time and make sure you're applying your stones as very neatly and as straight of a line as possible. I'm starting at the bottom of the bottle because it was easier for me to do it this way so I can have a better area to hold. I started doing it the opposite way and the stones got bumped off as I forgot they were still wet. So this is what worked for me. Just make sure you hold on to your bottle nice and tight so it doesn't slip out of your hand. As you can see, it's starting to come along nicely. I did use 5mm rhinestones at the very bottom to cover more area, so I can get done with this a little quicker so it wouldn't take as long. Continue to just add the rhinestones and use various sizes. I did use 3, 4, and 5mm iridescent rhinestones, but towards the bottom, like I said, I did use mainly 5mm to cover more area. Or no, those may, it's possible those may be 6mm.
This glam liquor bottle um, came as an inspiration. I saw some of these online as great birthday gifts. This is going to be a birthday gift, a 40th birthday gift for my sister-in-law. Um, she is absolutely incredible and she's always doing wonderful things for other people. And I thought this would be something nice for her to enjoy. And I will be making something else to match this as well. There'll be a video for that also. I'll show you what that special thing is to match this at the end of the video. If I had to take a guess how long it took me to complete this bottle, non-stop, maybe about 8 to 12 hours. I don't know. It's hard to gauge it. I did it over a day and a half um, time span of having so many other things to do, and I just really had to get this done. So I'm just zooming in right here so you can see how I'm tracing outside of the red rhinestones on the top of the smeared off part of the label. This is a brand new bottle of Smirnoff uh, Vodka. This is filled with vodka. This is not a bottle of water. I know some people uh, do these on empty bottles or bottles filled with water for some reason, but this bottle has never been opened. Okay, and voila, this looks amazing. You can stop right here if you want to. This is cool. This is just fine. But I am still going to add a few more rhinestones to the actual label. Yes, I am. I'm going to go over this part with red rhinestones. This part is completely optional, but I felt like it was very necessary.
Okay, so I'm almost finished right here and I did leave enough space so that the wine bottle, so that the liquor bottle can be opened. I did not glue the seal. And in case you forgot how this vodka bottle looked before, here is the final result. It is so extremely beautiful and lovely. I hope you guys received some type of inspiration. In the last clip of this video is where I will reveal the other piece of the gift that I made to go along with this bottle. Stay tuned. Oh, and here's the other part of the gift. I made a lovely wine glass to match the bottle. I also have that video uploaded, so please check that out as well. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Like, share, and subscribe if you want to. Bye-bye.